pitching, it, it's kind of second nature to me of how we work um, under the investment networks. We work with companies that are investment ready and invariably they've had a lot of um, work done with them to actually provide a pitch. For us under the investment network, we tend to tweak it. If I look at it from an enterprise Europe network um, level, it's again, um, nowadays you will see the pitch deck, the business plan, the exec summary are all based around the same system of what it is. You have to ensure that the message you give, whether it's at a top level, an exec summary, whether it's at a pitch level where you're doing say a three minute elevator pitch, which highlights the top that is out of the exec summary, or whether it's a more detailed business plan or a more detailed pitch deck that provides far more information. It is, there's certain he um, headings that have to be included. Those headings will be at different levels at different stages of the business. So a, a very early stage spin out will potentially have a lot of background information about market research, but possibly not much on about routes to markets and who are their first um, sales um, expected. Um, their financial models probably from a spin out are not going to be very good. But if they are at a point where they've already got first sales and systems are in place, it's going to be more detailed. So depending on where that spin out is, how much process has gone in, the pitch will be at different levels. And it's always about looking forward. The background is important, but I would say from a spin out perspective, it's mostly the background that they can provide. It's the future that they're looking to um, actually um, aspire to. So there is limited information that there will be on that. But that again would be expected from an angel's one, but that actually offers an opportunity to say, yes, this is where we see it going, but we're looking for a, an angel investor that actually can help support us do this part or do that part. So you can actually get that marry of a, a entrepreneur and an investor that actually gets the same idea, they're on the same page, and they're actually taking the journey together, and one is learning from the other.